Guys, we're back with, uh, with another video, and today we're going to be making these little mini, um, little mini crepes with Nutella inside. And before I get started, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ding the bell so you receive notifications every time I post a new video. Let's get started. And uh, I want to apologize if you don't like this, but um, my sister and my brother are playing outside, so because it's a very sunny day today, and the, you might hear them playing. And shouting so I'm sorry and I apologize for the the shouting that they cause so the things you'll need will be a paper a piece of paper a bowl or plate of your choice you need some scissors let me just quickly I'll get that later uh, you need and you need some pancake butter I just made it my pancake butter in this little lid here because I like it and now I'm just gonna mix it up a bit because I left it out just for a bit and there might be still lumps of flour just build up and I'm just gonna give it a nice little mix and, oh and I also forgot to mention you need a stove and a pan and you also need a spatula to flip your crepes and you want to make it very thin and I'll show you guys at the end how to make my pancake butter. So, I'm going to bring the camera over to here, over to my stove top. Really quick. That's my stove top. It's greased. And I have this spatula thing to fit. I'm using a non-stick pan, so I am going to have to use a, uh, nothing that's metal on it. So I'm going to switch the camera and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I have my stove top and I'm going to put it and I'm going to put it on a heat. Oh, I wasn't pressing it. I'm going to put it on a medium heat. And I'm just going to wait for it to heat up nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to get my pancake butter. Just pop it on here. And then I'm going to get my spoon and try to scoop it a bit. Like uh, this. So I'm getting it and I'm scooping some. Dragging it, and then I'm just gonna pop it right in the middle. Or if you want to, you can put it on this thing right here, kind of. I don't know how I'm gonna record this step. I'm just gonna have to use the pouring method. Okay, now I'm going to use my spoon and just use it to gently spread it in circles, a bit like this. Try to get it perfect. And if it's not perfect, then don't worry because nothing is perfect. Trying to kind of smoothen it out a bit. And just try to kind of make it a bit even. Doesn't quite look nice, but it looks like nice in the end. Trust me. Okay, so I'm just gonna, and if you know, it's ready. If you just gently lift it up, and it's good. Mine isn't good because I just put it on. Obviously, it won't be ready that quick. And you want it on a bit of a medium. And we're just going to wait for a minute or 30 seconds, half a minute, okay. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfectly golden brown, because I mean it's a crepe and crepes are not always perfectly golden brown. Tap it nicely. That's okay. That's good. 
and now you want to turn up your heat as soon as you're done and you want to actually bring it to here and just get a bit of paper oh and i also forgot to mention that you need some nutella for the nutella part just trying to get a bit of paper and it's a bit messy but that's fine and it's gonna pop that on there wait for the oil to drain out a bit it's gently apply pressure a bit like that and you also might wait I hot you might also hear the washing machine going it's a bit hot one minute guys bear with me minute. Bear with me guys, bear with me. Okay, bear with me. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it back. Just if you like that. Okay, I'm going to move this thing out of here. And now I'm going to gently peel it off like that a bit and I'm gonna pop it this way on the counter and I'm gonna get some of my Nutella and a knife and I'm just gonna gently just get a tiny bit of the Nutella and since it's gonna be hot it's gonna melt the Nutella just gonna pop this in there and just gonna spread it super nicely on here very sunny day today just gonna get a bit more, just a tiny bit. Okay. Just gonna get a bit like that, and then if you wanna roll it, this is how you do it. So you go like this, and then you just start rolling it up like this gently so then it looks a bit like that a little burrito kind of looking thing and then i'm gonna get my scissors very quickly and i'll get back to you guys what to do okay guys so i have got my scissors they are right here and you want to get some of your paper let me just fix this okay so get the piece of paper strip it off, and then you want to cut it into a bit of a square kind of looking just gonna move this thing out of the way and cut it roughly into a square so gently do it okay oopsies Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna pop our thing, our pancake or crepe just there and we're gonna start rolling it and then we're gonna fold the extra up like this and then you are gonna serve it on the plate. And that's it for today's video and I'm also gonna be doing a test. One, two, three. Mmm, pretty good, very easy, simple to make. So now I'm going to be showing you guys my pancake recipe. So, I'm just going to get a different cream bowl thing. I'll just use this thing here, a measuring cup now. I've got my measuring cup and I think you need for your pancake butter you can use pancake mix and just add water to it or you can go a bit complicated and add flour, sugar, milk and an egg if you want. So you originally you need three ingredients and I'll show you guys how to combine them and how to do it.
I'm just gonna get my ingredients really quickly and I'll show you guys what to do. Okay guys, so I've got my ingredients. I have some flour. So I'm just gonna put roughly five of these into this little mushroom cup. And it's one third mushroom cup. I'm just gonna quickly wash this. And I'll get back to you guys and I'll show you guys how much you need to, of the flour you need to put in. Okay guys, so I've washed my spoon and you wanna make sure that this is dry unless you want flour to stick all over your spoon. So this is about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna add, ooh, be careful not to spill any flour. So I'm gonna bring this up here and add one. Oops, two, three, oops. can't get any flour, there, four, four, is e four of these is equal to one teaspoon, oops. now, you wanna just tap this a bit down, so you have space, with your sugar and I'm gonna add about two of these for the sugar so bring it up to the surface just like that and do it in here just like that and you're gonna still just add as much sugar as you want to make it sweet or if you don't like sweet pancakes then you can add salt to make it a salty pancake Salt pancake, salt, salty, salt, salt. I'm getting a bit confused here. Let me just sort this thing out again. It keeps on falling down. And I'm just gonna, that, okay, it won't fall down now. So I'm just gonna add one more of this into here. And now I'm gonna close this back up again. Wow, it is a bit difficult to do. And now, I'm just gonna add some milk. But before we do that, we wanna mix in our flour and our sugar. Just nicely mix it up. Combined. And I forgot to mention, you need a pinch of salt. Yup. Next year. just a pinch. Of salt. Okay, pop that back. It's right above me, so don't have to go all the way to the other side of the room to do it. So I'm just gonna mix it in, and now I'm just gonna add roughly five of these again. So one. And uh, two and uh, three oh and uh, five and I'm gonna try to mix in as best as I can and you want the consistency to be a bit liquidy but not too runny and you don't want it to be too stiff either because then it won't be a crepe it'll be more as a thick pancake and you don't want that and you want it a nice smooth crepe so we're just gonna mix it in and then we're just gonna see it's good it's not good yet so we need to add up to three more of these for the milk one two and three and we're just gonna mix that in again gently and nicely and keep mixing it until you get this creamy consistency which is beautiful and you want to make sure that there's no clumps of flour just like that or if you don't know you don't have this spoon for the flour you can add um two of these for the flour milk things the milk lids and for the sugar of this, you can add up to three of these 
and then for the milk you can add up to mm, two of these two of this and this can be used for original pancakes or just for crepes so that's it for today's video and i hope you enjoyed and for and that's and and i'll see you guys in the next video bye